Hello and welcome to my tutorial for ArtRage Studio Pro. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to create a single image sticker sheet and how to use that with the sticker spray tool. So as you can see I've already started. I have a flower on my canvas. It's the only thing that's on this layer so if I hide that and show it again you'll see that that blue canvas remains there and the only thing that's actual paint is the flower itself. Uh, I have a lot of dead space. I don't really need it all, especially for a sticker, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And to do it, I'm going to select my layer. I'm going to go to Edit, find the option to select layer contents, and give that a click. And doing so will select my uh, contents on that layer. I'm going to go to Edit again, and then I'm going to select Crop to Selection. And that will crop my canvas down to the size of my flower. So now it's time to decide whether we want our canvas texture seen. Uh, I personally don't like to keep it visible when I'm using a sticker because you know when you're using it as a sticker this texture is going to interfere with the texture that you're seeing on the new painting you're using. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide that texture. To do that I'm going to go to view I'm going to select canvas settings. The canvas panel will open up and I'm going to click on the light bulb toggle here and when I click on that you'll see those lines disappear which means it's shut off the lighting and then I'm going to go down to the roughness option and I'm going to turn that down to zero. I'm going to go ahead and close the panel and you can see that my texture is now invisible. Well not really invisible but smooth and now I'm ready for uh, saving this. And to do that, I'm going to go up to Tools, Layer Options, and I'm going to select Export Layer. Now, I've already done this once before, so I already have a flower.png saved, but in your case, you'd come down here, you'd give it a name, and you'd save it as a PNG file. Uh, and saving it as a PNG file will ensure that the transparency that you see here in the layer thumbnail is going to be saved when you export. Okay, so you'd go ahead and save that. In my case, I'm just going to cancel because I've already saved it. So with all that done, now we just need to create a sticker sheet from the image. And to do that, uh, we just go ahead and click on the uh, sticker pod here. Uh, right click. That'll bring up the menu and select new sticker sheet and our sticker panel will open. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name flower and I'm going to put it in my flower group and for lower layer I'm going to click on the color tab and I'm going to select my image. Okay, So there's my flower PNG. Click open and there it is. Click OK and ArtRage will go ahead and create a sticker from that. So now I'm done. I have a sticker sheet. If I click here and open up my panel under flower, you'll see I have a flower sticker sheet. Uh, I'm just going to undo this real quick so I have some room to work. If I peel that off and put it next to it, you can see what it looks like. All right. So now that I have the sticker sheet set, I can go ahead and create a, uh, a sticker spray preset for it. So let me go ahead and clear all this out because we don't need it. I'm going to create a new layer to work on. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select the sticker spray tool. That's right here. We've got little feet on it. Uh, open up our settings panel. And what I'm going to do is set my spray rate down to a lower number here. Probably about 10% should be good. Uh, where it says sheet we want to put our new sticker sheet in, so go ahead and click on that. Locate where your group is and click on that sticker sheet. You can see it's set in there now. Continuous, I'm going to leave off. Shadowing, I'm not going to have. Uh, let's see, auto flatten I want on. Uh, and now I'm going to click on the spray variation. And this is really what causes a lot of changes for your sticker. Uh, what you want to do is click on the menu tab and clear all the values first. 
Uh, what I always like to do is set my tracing alpha first and I'm gonna go ahead and put that up to a hundred percent so where it says tracing alpha and alpha category it's gonna be a hundred percent tracing saturation I always like to keep at a hundred for luminance uh, I recommend fifty percent and for sticker hue under normal circumstances I'd put that to a hundred uh, in this case though since the the uh, flower that we've created is uh, more than one color meaning it's I didn't make it as a pure red color uh, in this case if I change it the colors will be kind of wonky uh, I'll get more to that in a minute um, what I'm gonna do is make sure that I put my scale up uh, I'm gonna set it sort of random so I'm gonna put the random option up to a hundred percent uh, but for the base value, I'll just put that up to around 76, 75. And what that means is when I'm using this, it's going to be that the size of the flower will be anywhere between 75% and 100% of the actual scale. Uh, so if I go ahead and try this right now, you can see it's a little dull. Uh, that's because I have my saturation low. If I push that all the way up to the top, I'll get the full color that it used to be. All right. Uh, so now I can create a whole field of these if I wanted to. Uh, just to show you what I was talking about, though, about the hue, if I do turn that up to 100% and start drawing, you'll see that the, the pink on the flower is green, but the green is actually a purplish-blue color. And that's because it's not a pure red color. Uh, the, the entire sticker wasn't pure red. Uh, and again, that's something that you could learn more about in uh, some of my other tutorials. So I don't want that effect. I'm going to go ahead and clear that out, make sure that the hue stays at the original color it was meant to be. Uh, otherwise, I, I kind of like how the spray is working. So I just went ahead and put a little patch of flowers there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of that a little bit. I'm going to go down to the preset panel here, click on that, uh, make sure I'm in my work in progress group, which I am, and I'm going to say new preset, and I'm going to call this flower, and I'm going to click on this panel here with the feet and select sample preview image, and I'm just going to drag this around a little bit. I'm holding control down and left clicking on here to, to increase the size of this. I'm going to make sure that my flower grouping is in that box. Click on the check mark. There's my preview. Click OK. And now I have a preset set for that flower group. So now whenever I want to create flowers, I have a preset already made for it. And just sit there and draw them out whenever I need them. So I can go to my grass brush, and do some grass fields, and then say, all right, let me put some flowers in there. Oops, I want them a little brighter than that though. And there I go. All set and ready to, to create a whole hillside of them if I wanted. 